We're your weather authority. We warn you first. Good morning, everyone. We have another chilly morning and muggy morning. As Ruby Spy Nicholas Sky Track in Odessa, we see once again another beautiful sunrise with a little bit of those high clouds and haze on the horizon as we have mostly dry and warm conditions over the next few days. But that might drastically change as we head into next week. But taking a look at this week's weather photo winner, thanks to Teresa Huckabee, who sent this in from Alpine this past Friday of a double rainbow, just a beautiful sight in Alpine. And we see a lot of vegetation thanks to the recent rainfall that they got. And also those dark skies that we have since there was a thunderstorm that departed the area. So again, Teresa, thank you for sending that in. And if you guys have any photos that look like this, make sure you send them in my way as your photo may be featured live on air. Now we do have an update with the drought monitor and last week we did get quite a bit of rainfall in the Big Bend, Marfa, Alpine area. There's still a little bit of drought moderate drought in Big Bend. Still moderate to severe drought in Eddy in Lee County in southeast New Mexico, but with the potential for storms next week, I do expect that there could be some relief in terms of the drought monitor in some of those drought stricken areas. Now our 2021 precipitation totals are way above average in places like Big Bend National Park, specifically at the Chisos Basin, over 15 inches of rain. Midland, they're already above their yearly average at 13.56 inches of rain and all these locations you do see are at above average for this time of year and we could be adding to that total as we head to early next week thanks to a change in the weather pattern. For the short term we do notice that we have mostly sunny skies today with a little bit of an increase in clouds as we head into tomorrow afternoon, but staying dry. But we do notice that we have a cold front coming in from the north, building humidity, monsoon moisture from the south with chances of rain in the Petroplex with even tropical trouble in the western gulf as recent models have been pushing this farther to the east. But as we head to later in this weekend and to early next week, this storm will be making landfall. It could be impacting parts of Texas. And if there are any changes with this model, we are your local weather authority. We will let you know if this storm will impact your weather in Texas. But either way, it's looking like it's going to be a lot more mild and wet for early next week. Now, today's National Dog Day, and it's going to be a great day to go outside, enjoy the dog days of summer, mostly sunny skies and high temperatures in the low to mid 90s, along with the potential for gusty winds. Now, those temperatures will be a little bit lower compared to yesterday. Yesterday's high temperature at 94 degrees, but these temperatures that you do see are very normal for this time of year, and we are going to be expecting a little bit in the way of cooler weather ahead, though. Overnight low of 69 degrees tonight with those gusty winds ending early and light winds happening overnight. And those winds are fairly light right now, but they'll be ramping up this afternoon. Winds sustained from 10 to 15 potentially before dying down later this evening. And these yellows indicate winds gusting as high as 30 to 40 miles per hour, especially in Brewster County. Now it should be an A-OK -okay day for go to the pool as we head out and about for tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies and high temperatures in the low 90s. A little bit more in the way of building humidity and cloud coverage as we head later in the day for tomorrow. Those temperatures will continue to lower as Friday night lights is back in the basin. Overnight lows in the mid to upper 60s. High temperatures in the mid to upper 80s thereafter with the chances of rain starting to increase later this weekend and into early next week.